In the heart of the Swiss Alps between Lake Lucerne and the St. Gotthard Pass lies the headquarters of the Detweiler Group. The company is well known today in many business sectors across the globe as an industrial supplier of sealing solutions, as a distributor of electronic components, and as a manufacturer of specialized cables. Detweiler employs more than 7,500 people worldwide and generates over 1 billion euros in revenue. Having grown successfully with the challenges for 100 years, Detweiler is looking confidently to the future. The history of the high-tech group began in 1915 in Altdorf in central Switzerland. Adolf Detweiler took over the management of a small, heavily indebted Swiss wire and rubber factory. In the midst of World War I, the young manager reorganized the business. Soon, in 1917, Adolf Detweiler bought the company, making the transition from manager to entrepreneur. In the early 20th century, poor but industrious people in the canton of Uri worked in the fledgling manufacturing industry. Adolf Detweiler assumed social responsibility. As early as 1918, he set up a workers' health insurance scheme. He constructed the first low-cost employee housing units in 1933. An in-house training school was opened in 1944. And in 1948, Detweiler already provided a pension fund. Adolf Detweiler was a car enthusiast. The young automotive industry sparked his ambition. In 1935, he signed a licensing agreement with Firestone, despite the world economic crisis. He opened a factory to make car tires in Pruttel near Basel. Firestone was a catalyst for Detweiler, with Pruttel serving as a hub for recruiting or training many skilled workers for URI. At the same time, Detweiler continued to expand. In 1947, he acquired an interest in Stahlrohr Limited Rotrist. And in 1949, he bought Gummi Marg in Zurich. This takeover kicked off the distribution of technical components. Responding to the signs of the times to move ahead, this remained Detweiler's credo during World War II. Switzerland's largest waste rubber recycling plant came on stream in Altdorf. And Detweiler started producing bicycle tires, which were much in demand in those days. By the mid-50s, Peter and Max Detweiler of the next generation were ready to step in. In 1958, the family established Detweiler Holding. Adolf Detweiler died shortly after. Peter and Max Detweiler put a broader-based management culture in place. In 1967, the three divisions, cables, rubber and floorings, began operating as independent units focus was placed on inventiveness and freedom of research. Detweiler also had to reinvent its product range. Simple mass-produced items were not the recipe for long-term success. Promise for the future lay in areas that others shied away from. Detweiler found such market niches in the automotive and pharmaceutical industries. The company also opened up new markets in technical component distribution. Detweiler was on the way to becoming an international multi-niche player. In 1986, Peter and Max Detweiler took half of the company public. At the same time, they wanted to ensure the company's long-term independence. A unique succession plan made this possible. Ever since, the directors of the listed holding company have held the majority of votes in a fiduciary capacity. To achieve this, Peter and Max Detweiler relinquished substantial assets in the interest of a sustainable ownership structure. Globalization gathered momentum in the 1990s. Customers were turning to large suppliers with global delivery capability. Detweiler took up the challenge, increased its capacity, and expanded to Asia and America. This transformed the company from a product manufacturer to an international development partner and solutions provider. 
In global competition, survival depends on having the necessary critical mass. Knowing this, Detweiler adjusted its portfolio by expanding sealing solutions and electronic component distribution, also by acquiring other companies. The cable business was transferred to the majority shareholder Perma Holding. Today, the sister company is called Detweiler Cabling Solutions. Now in its centenary year, Detweiler holds leading market positions. We can all be proud of that. Thanks to our strong roots, we are looking confidently to the future. For the benefit of our customers, workforce and shareholders, we want to keep growing with the challenges.